You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and we have a bubble blaster. And uh, I think the bubble part is the bubble gum. I was kind of looking at it before I started the video, just to see what I can understand on it. But it says Bubble Mania here, and this section here holds bubble gum, but it is a squirt gun because I noticed the filler tube here, so I'm going to fill it. Now the bubble blaster is not making bubbles, so that's what I garnered here. Let me uh, take this sticker off because the, the blaster itself looks pretty cool. I wish they didn't put the sticker on the clear part because it's going to be very hard to get this off. I should have just covered just the blue part, right? So I noticed now that you can untwist this, and this is sealed. See, that's why I don't think you put anything in this section. And that uh, stops the water from getting to it. Now maybe after you're done eating the gum, we'll have to test this theory, you pull this out, and then you can fill it also with water. So I'm not sure. But let's, uh, let's get a piece of gum out, huh? This just looks like standard bubble gum. I'll chew a piece. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a gum that I can tell, but we'll see. It's not going to last very long. So do you keep that in or not? We'll find out. It's okay. So you'll enjoy the gum. That's a neat little gun chamber. Let me uh let me get a bowl here. We'll okay. Quite a few pieces in there. If you're a bubblegum fan. Okay. Then let's uh now it looks like there's a seal here as well, so you'd think that would seal, but we'll see. Here's a filler, just like a squirt gun should have, and I have some water here, tap water that I just filled in another bottle. Let's see if this will come out. It's like it doesn't want to go in. It's like it's under pressure. All right, let's go for it. Still filling. Yeah, it's still going down. It's getting heavier, I could feel it. Oh, it holds a lot of water. You see, now that feels like the gun is full. Let's see if we can tip this back. No. Maybe I can get a little, no, it's pretty, yeah, let me try to get a little more in there. It's hard to tell. I think we've maxed it out, so now let's put this back in. Okay. So these are notorious for leaking. All squirt guns seem to eventually leak. So that looks pretty cool. Now it looks like I can hold more water in there. So let me just carefully take this out and fill it this way. Max my weapon out here, huh? Let's see. I'll, I'll lose some on the tilt, but I think for the most part we'll get it in. There you go. Not bad. So let's try it. Pretty good. Can't tell how far it shoots, though. It's hard to see. See it coming out? Getting on my lens. I might have to do some cleanup now. Let me do that. Let me clean this up. I want to clean off my lens because I got it on there. And then we'll uh, go from there. Okay, I am back. I thought, uh, well, how else can I show you better? And then I was wiping my countertop with my green towel. Um, you could see it real good over the green.
So it shoots, pre shoots pretty good. And as you can imagine, it leaks from the trigger. I think all squ squirt guns that I've seen at this level would leak from the trigger. And there's quite a bit of water in there because you can move it back into that section there. Ooh, hit the back wall. So I think on this level, this is a cool candy dispenser, bubble blaster, squirt gun, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty neat. So that uh, that has to probably rank up there in the top 10, I would think. If you want to check that description and see more unique candy containers, then uh, do that or search our channel. And thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.